Well, Mark is still smiling. Um, I think he might have taken a point at kick-off, but in the end, only get a point having been two up must feel so disappointed. Yeah, absolutely. I'm disappointed the players that worked their socks off in there. You saw that. Um, you know, against a big, strong, woke inside. I um, thought really good value for our lead. Um, but we know what it's like when you get a team coming at you down that bottom and you're trying to defend that goal. They've got some good forward players and they become more of a more of a threat. And I think we've got maybe a, you know, a little bit too far apart from each other all over the pitch. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, would we settle for a point before the game? Possibly. Um, well, are we disappointed that we haven't got three? Yes, we are. Um, you know, we have to take a lot of positives from that particular game um, due to the fact that it's well documented now that we've got so many injuries, uh, suspension, um, to go with those nine injuries. So players playing out of position, play, young players on the pitch as well. Um, and let's say we've gone again toe to toe with one of the will be one of the top sides in the division come the end of the season. Um, you know, Gary Horgan made the point in there is how far we've come, um, or maybe not how far we've come, how good a side we could be and we can be with what we've got currently and you know what we've got sat in the stand. So yeah we take the positives and you know, we'll keep everybody moving. It's three point three games undefeated in this league is uh, not a mean feat. It's been quite rare both this season and last season that you've been turned over at home by the bigger and the better clubs. So that again shows that you are now established and maybe I need to sort of stop talking about big woking and big talkie coming here because you're more than holding your own at this level. Yeah, absolutely. We are holding our own. Um, I think 15 games in, one place off the playoffs or one point off the playoffs. You know, great effort by everybody. Everybody in the club should be, should be happy with that, you know. To think we are disappointed that we haven't beaten Woking shows does show something certainly. Um, I think overall, you know, are we happy with that point? As I said previously, yes, we have to be because that's what you've been given. You know, we've done that to teams in the second half. We get half teams and get late goals. You know, Will Richards disappointing the cross has come in, come off his shin pad and gone in for an own goal. So that even makes it even more disappointing. Um, Carnell Chambers not played for six, seven, eight weeks. I think he's been telling me he scored two goals. It was a constant threat. So that's a positive. You know, young Gunner in midfield has received a harsh red card from the looks of it. Um, he's worked his socks off with Josh Small. You know, two, two 18, 19 year olds in the middle of midfield against a lot of experience. So, yeah, we, we take the, the positives, and there are plenty. What about their first goal from the penalty? I appreciate you were a long way from it, but the lads going in at the end, they, the looks of penalty were clearly protesting at the time. Yeah, they were protesting. Nuno thinks he's caught him. Um, you know, the pace of the game is quick, and you know, Nuno's. He's just managed to get inside Nuno on the wrong side and he had good feet there eight and I thought he was a decent player and obviously it's a penalty and he stuck it away properly so then you're always going to be under the cosh because teams can have a go at 2-1 you know the wind's blowing they're going down the slope always going to be a threat um, we had a couple of little half chances just after that um, and obviously when the sending off comes and you just start batting down the hatches then and you know rearrange and just make sure we get through with that, with that point which we've managed to do. It's hard to pick out players when they played so well, but you touched upon Will Richards. I thought he was immense today in both boxes because it was his sort of um, thinking where the ball is in the air, going in properly to set up the second goal, not just charging in and committing a foul. Yeah, absolutely. And if you look at it, play back um, this evening, I think Will has won the first one and he's almost got his flick on as well. So he's won the first header, then he's won and got, got his flick on. And then it's a fantastic finish by Carnell Chambers um, to go with his little tap in for the first one. So yeah, you know, Will Richards has been immense the last two or three, three or four weeks, absolutely fantastic. I think the back three have been outstanding, those three. Um, you know, are we brave to go with three? Some people think we are, but you know, they can cope with us Got a good goalkeeper in behind them, his handling was top draw. So yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're in a happy place at this moment in time. You touch upon Callum Gunner, you feel that his uh, red card, the two yellow cards, was harsh in the end. Uh, you've announced today that you've got him on loan from Bradford for the rest of the season. At the start of the season, he was sat in the stands, he couldn't even get on the bench. In the last few weeks, he's been one of your first names on the team shoot. Absolutely, he came on against Hendon, I think after five or six minutes when um, Dean Evans was done a knee ligament um, and he's come on he's been fantastic for us you know he hasn't complained he did complain when he wasn't playing he wanted to get there and show what he could do and I said your, your chance will come and it certainly came and he's certainly taken it with both hands you know so I'm disappointed for him because two soft yellows really you know some referees not even <coughs> blowing the whistle for those and he's finished up missing the game on the back of that now um, but he can take a little rest and we'll come back fresher and better for it hopefully and as I say we'll move on but yeah Callum Gunner's done a power good for himself and for this football club. What about Chelmsford on Monday clearly a Bigger, <coughs> this level, big crowd, half place to go to. How do you see that one now? Yeah, it's a, it's a Monday evening nightmare, really. You know, the logistics of getting there, um, the, the squad we've got, you know, dwindling down by the minute. But yeah, you know, we'll, we'll strap up, we've got to strap up, and we'll go out there and we'll give a good account of ourselves. You know, I have no doubt in that with the players that we've got, they'll always give it. <coughs> 
the lads who are on the bench today can come on and, and, and do an equally as good job as the start at 11. So, yeah, a very, very difficult place to go. But, you know, I say that wherever we go, whether you're going to go to Western Supermare, who are bottom of the league, or you're going to go to Torquay, Billericay, who are top of the league, you know, we'll be ready and we'll always uh, put on a decent show and wear some pride and, for that badge. And is it too early for any of the injured, nine, ten, maybe counting, uh, to be back for Monday? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, you know, dot, yeah, I think it is, in all fairness. Um, Jack Compton has been poorly, but, you know, he's come on, had a little shift today. And Sparks has done well when he's come on. We've still got Jordan Edwards in, in the tank as well. Uh, Matt Smith, who was left out today because George Riggs' hamstring looks a little bit tight, so we could make some changes there. But whoever gets onto the pitch will, as I say, they'll, they'll do a good job for this football club, and that's what we expected of them. Thank you, Mark. Well done today. Thanks, Ian.